I don't give refunds. Mostly I don't even give explanations. But since it's you and we have a particular relationship, I'll make an exception. Where to begin? It's always a bit arbitrary, that, you see. Something of an illusion. It might even be the great illusion. Don't let anybody convince you that cause and effect have no real meaning, though. What people tend to forget is that it's a continuous process, not a separate chain of events. The cause you pick out cannot be a beginning, and the effect you think you recognize is never an end. A psychostrategist helps the client cope with that and devises ways to get them what they think they want. Let's face it, without me, they'd pretty much be spitting in the wind. probes and recalibrated the scoop gauges. Are they reading? No problem that I can see. There's a really big blow coming in. A one in ten at least. Mm, any chance of getting out ahead of it? No, I don't think so. In fact, another 15 minutes, give or take, and the flyer pens will be on automatic lockdown. We're stuck with him then. Have you found out what he wants yet? He hasn't said. And you haven't asked him. <laughs> How do you ask a company topmaster what he wants without sounding like he's not welcome? He's not welcome. Do you want to tell him that, or shall I? You can. That's what I thought. This is a research station, not a tourist exhibit. We're working here. Well, do you want to tell him that, or shall I? Yeah, yeah. So, stop bitching and moaning at me. Where is he, anyway? I have no idea. You've left him wandering about on his own? How sensible is that? Research station, yes. Tourist exhibit, no. Research scientist, yes. Tourist guide, no. Suppose he goes outside and gets himself sand shredded. Oh, come on. Not that I give a shit, but why should he do that? Just because he's a top master, it doesn't mean he's bright. Did he strike you as bright? <laughs> he struck me as fat. Yeah. But then again, you should never confuse fat with dim. We people of girth are slow, possibly. Greedy, certainly. But stupid. Not on your suddenly fragile life. What's he doing? What the, what the hell are you doing? What is that? This. This is a plasma rifle. Now, the observant among you will be aware that I did not have a plasma rifle with me when I arrived. What does that tell us? It tells us that the rifle was here already. Either that, or I'm a good deal more flexible than I look. I don't understand. Skinny and slow. See what I'm saying? No correlation between weight and brains. What do you want from us? I want you to stop fidgeting and concentrate. Pay attention now. My name is Stenton Rull. I am head of security. Not absolutely the top man, you understand, but close enough for you to be in trouble. I would very much like you to explain to me why there's a rebel arms cache in your research station. <coughs> I think I did tell him not to fidget, didn't I? You killed him. Which one was he? Sheen. His name was Sheen. Right. That makes you... Rolf? killed him. You noticed that, Rolf? Good. I killed Sheen. What does that tell us? It tells us that there's only you left. So, shall we start again? I want you to stop fidgeting and concentrate. Pay attention now. My name is Stenton Rull. I am head of security. I would very much like you to explain to me why there's a rebel arms cache in your research station. Five.
Five days I was stuck out there on the edge of the blind art, waiting for the wind to drop. Nothing but the two corpses for company. Ugh, I hate that stinking desert. And is there counselling when I get back? Do you know what they wanted to do? They wanted to call them five standard shifts. No travelling, no overnights, no stress payment. Cool. He didn't admit it. The one you questioned. What, ten plasma rifles and a bunch of explosive hidden in the equipment bay? You could hardly deny it. He did, of course. Deny it? Well, he would, wouldn't he? Where'd you say the information came from? I didn't, and I'm not about to. But they're one of ours. Undercover security infiltrated the rebels. Which bit of, and I'm not about to, didn't you understand, Cotton? Oh, sorry. There's a rumour going about... Surely that... not. They say that one of those two was a friend of Ivanov's. Bollocks, he hasn't got any friends. If the rumours are right, he's got one less now. They were low-level techies. No way Ivanov knew either of them. Besides, if you're a friend of the man, you're not going to die without saying so, are you? You're going to say, First Master Chairholder Ivanov is a close drinking buddy of mine and it's probably not a good idea to shoot off any more of my extremities. And would that have stopped you? Of course it wouldn't. But neither of them said that, so it's not a problem. The way you tell it, one of them didn't get a chance to say anything much at all. You're enjoying this, aren't you? Me? Oh, no, I'm on your side. You better be. Never doubt it. What we've been through together? Keep that in the front of your mind, Cotton. If you don't want a plasma bullet in the back of it. That's uncalled for, Stent. That's definitely uncalled for. Where do you hear this rumour? In the canteen. Where else? Who? Who what? Who was putting it about? I don't remember. Try. It's a rumour, Stent. Canteen gossip. You want to find out where it comes from? Good luck. Well, it doesn't just drop out of the air. Are you sure? It's got a life of its own, I reckon. And if some bastard's jerking me around, they're going to be shit out of luck. Because you're going to rise above it, right? You're going to ignore it, right? Right. Immediately after I find them, and I kill them. Obviously, Rahl had become an increasingly dangerous individual. You don't have to be a psychostrategist to spot that. Because of the way we adapt to circumstances, power always corrupts. The more adaptable you are, the quicker it happens. It wasn't difficult to predict, for a number of reasons I won't waste time rehearsing, that Rahl's taste for violence would become dependable. The trick was simply to direct that dependable violence to where it would have the most effect. He said, eat, drink, and be merry, for tomorrow there's a shack in the sewer pits waiting for all of us. <laughs> I thought that was rather poetic in its way. Oh, a bit cheeky, I would have thought. What did you say? Say? Oh, I didn't say anything. Of course, I had him sent to the pits the next day. I beg your pardon, First Master Landerchild. Yes? There's a person asking to see you. A person? A Stenton Roll, First Master. He's in company security. He says he has urgent business with you. Does he indeed? Be so good as to tell Top Master Raoul that this is a gentleman's oasis. We do not do business here, urgent or otherwise. He's most insistent. Are you arguing with me? No, First Master. It's just that he was very threatening. Very threatening? You're some sort of transitional worker, presumably. Hmm? How long ago were you transferred? My family's not from the sewer pits, First Master. Why are you still here? Yes, First Master. I'm sorry, First Master. Oh, where do they get these people? I'm seriously thinking of recommending to the committee that we reinstate the robot attendants. A second-rate human is no match for a first-rate robot. Oh, come now, Strecker. A bit utilitarian, don't you think? Robot attendants? Shows a certain lack of taste. It's the sort of thing that... Uh, well, I don't know, sort of thing that Yuvanov might prefer. Or that Carnell character who proved so untrustworthy and who still owes us money, I think. Uh, careful, and the child? Perilously close to talking business in the Oasis? Uh, no, I think we were discussing being waited on by robots and the lack of breeding that represents. Oh, is that what you think? Mm. I think I'd like another drink. Allow me. They've just broached a rather good cask I had them reserve. You there. Two bottles from my personal stock. Quickly, man! You're probably the only other member of this oasis with the palate to appreciate it. If you say so. Oh, I do say so. I have said so on a number of occasions. You are a man of rare taste and discernment, Strecker. In one area, anyway. Yes. <clears throat> Will you excuse me for one moment? Of course. I'll be back by the time the drinks arrive. I say... You? Yes, yes, you. First Master Strecker? That fellow Rao, has he gone? I believe he's, um... <clears throat> well, well, go on, yes, 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 get on with it. I believe he's in the kitchens, First Master. In the kitchens? In the kitchens of this oasis? He demanded a drink, First Master. He's drinking in the kitchens? 
He's drinking in our kitchens. I, I don't believe it. He was going to make a scene, and he could hardly be allowed to be in the Oasis itself. The committee will not look favourably on the kitchens being abused in this way. I understand. I doubt that you do. Anyway, bring Raoul to me. No, on second thoughts, I'll talk to him there. Very well, First Master. Where are the kitchens? This way, First Master. That's him over there. He looks as though he enjoys eating and drinking rather too much to be given the run of the kitchens. Are you Raoul? Stenton Raoul. What can I do for you, First Master Strecker? You know me. I'm head of security. Then you'll know I'm a close associate of First Master Landchild. You may tell me whatever it is you came to tell him. I don't think so. Your behaviour here has already condemned one man to the sewer pits. I assume you don't want to join him there? My business is with him alone. I make a, a bad enemy, Raoul. Oh, I've lost count of how many of them I've made already. One more is neither here nor there. On the other hand... You make a good friend. Uh, hardly. I was about to say my patronage can be advantageous. Thank you, First Master Strecker, but I have enough people patronising me as it is. I apologise for not understanding your association with First Master Landerchild. Perhaps you tell him the information he gave me was unreliable and I need to know the source. What information? He'll know what you mean. Don't be insolent, Raoul. I'm not Lambda Child's message carrier. Not that close an associate either, it seems. Now you're in trouble, Raoul. Now you're in deep trouble. I'm beginning to see that. And don't imagine you're untouchable, Strecker. Are you threatening me? How could I do that, First Master? I'm just a security man. Don't worry. I'll see myself off the premises. Thanks for the drink, friend. Like I had a choice. Yes, I dropped you in it seemingly. Sorry about that. Word of advice. I don't need your advice. Rob these bastards and run for it. They can't pit you if they can't find you. And there's nobody in Caldor City Security could find their bum with both hands once the lights go out. I'm not a thief. Well, I'm sure they'll take that into consideration when they heave you and yours into the sewer pits. They wouldn't do that. Wouldn't be right. First Master Straker wouldn't do that. Of course he wouldn't. Tell you what, I just come into possession of some plasma rifles. I can do you a good price on one. They're illegal. <laughs> There's no saving some people, is there? <laughs>